Hello, Munir Ajam. Uh, this video will focus on capital projects. And when we use the word capital, typically means projects that are using capital as uh, they are investing capitals. Um, this is more from CapEx versus OPEX, uh, the question of capital versus expenditure project. So capital projects are usually, as a term, are projects that require some kind of an investment. Typically, these projects are facilities that, um, you know, when they are completed, there will be additional asset that can go on an organization financial statement. However, capital project could, could mean investment into facilities or could be uh, technology, hardwares, uh, or whatever the case might be. So whatever the guideline in your country or in your organization about what would be a capital project, um, that would be, of course, up to you. The key that uh, we're going to assume in this video that capital projects are usually projects requiring a in capital investment, usually large, you know, in the millions of dollars, if not tens of hundreds of millions of dollars. Um, so these are capital projects that require uh, a lot of money and would typically require a lot of time resources in terms of people, machines, equipment, and of course they will take long duration to complete. Uh, therefore, these projects require a, you know, quite a bit a comprehensive methodology for managing them. We cannot depend on you know, concepts like the process group from ISO 21500 or Pumba uh, just limited our, limit our focus on these kind of process groups. In order to manage each project, we need to have methodologies, which means a project lifecycle approach that goes through multiple phases and stages, and where these process groups might have to repeat in every phase and stage. Um, so it's quite comprehensive in the um, approach that is needed to manage these projects. Uh, now, research, uh, recently we've been talking about, about large project and mega project, but regardless whether we are dealing with mega or less than mega, and recently we've been here about Terra projects. These are the projects that are in the trillions of dollars, and supposedly now China is embarking on one of those projects, uh, as we've been seeing through some of the online discussion. Uh, but basically... Uh, if we are talking about large and complex projects, whether they are a few millions or hundreds of millions or even more than more than a billion or two, uh, these projects require, you know, obviously quite complex, uh, require a lot of resources, and they need special attention. And some of the research we've seen, and which support what we know, and why we had developed methodologies years ago, is that um, organization managing projects owner organization, they really must follow a phased approach, phases and stages, with stage gates. If you don't implement proper stage gates, if you do not implement proper stage gates, I'm repeating this, um, is basically that's indicate that met your methodology for managing project is probably, uh, if I'm not going to say faulty, it's probably less than optimal which may, of course, result in projects that are not uh, the outcome of this project, the benefit of this project is not as, uh, as good as you expected them to be, if not fail. And the research as well, and this is from global organization, shows that these capital projects um, you need to follow a proper methodological approach that is based on stage gates, um, with quite a bit of front-end loading or uh, early definition. And if you follow uh, some of these practices, also some of what we call best practices or leading practices, there is a very good chance you will have better performance on these projects. Now, of course, um, a lot of research shows that, uh, again, I'm repeating on this concept of research, some of these projects are not performing well, well, uh, I have no idea who said this quotation a long time ago, but basically it says, we know why a project fails, 
Now, again, failure here could be challenge. We know why project fails. We know how to prevent their failures. So why do they still fail? Have a good day.